Hi everyone, I am here with a little um, card share and tomorrow I, I, I'm i getting together with my two daughters and my sister to celebrate Mother's Day, but my sister's birthday is also next week. So um, I'm giving her a gift for her birthday. I do have something in mind for Mother's Day, but it's gonna be late. Um, but anyway, so I made her this card and this is from down on the farm from Doodlebug and I've had it in my stash for a few years. And I also used um, this stamp set by Not Too Shabby. Um, I used the Sentiment Holy Cow, It's Your Birthday, uh, I used the balloon and I also used the birthday hat. So this is the card I made. Um, the reason why I made it in this theme is because my sister always says holy cow and also my husband has called her moo for years. That's just their thing. So I thought this was perfect. I've had, like I said, I've had this in my stash for a few years. And then um, this I just fussy cut. It was from a cutout and underneath that was this said utterly awesome so I just put that on the inside so that's her card um, the bags I am reusing or recycling um, I used to get the card kit from Frank Garcia studio and I would always save the bags um, because each kit would come in a bag inside the box so I just cut out some tags um, this is from the collection also. Not that it totally matches, I was just trying to differentiate whose bag was whose um, tomorrow. So I just put a clothespin on there and just put a little flower on there. So the card is gonna go in the bag and then I just put a Joanne's gift card in here. I should have put it more toward the back. And then I put some Hershey nuggets in there with some paper shred and that's gonna go in the bag. So that's the first one. The next one is um, I made this Julie Nutting card doll uh, card and I used the paper that I used was uh, called summer I put it away already I can't remember what it is it, it's from Frank Garcia studio but I can't remember who makes it um, so I use that collection. I also use this collection, Echo Park Dive Into Summer, also that I got at Frank Garcia Studio. And I use this collection to paper piece her. So you can see um, the only thing I colored was her hair. I added some rhinestones for a necklace. And the Julie Nutting stamp set came with this, uh, what it says, sweet. So I stamped that and had a heart in there and I punched out a heart, added flowers and some uh, enamel dots. And this Happy Mother's Day is from a different stamp set. It's from a Stampin' Up! stamp set. And I think I put it away already. But anyway, so, and then on the inside from the same Stampin' Up! set, I put this sentiment and says our love is one that covers years through life's joys and sometimes tears a bond that stands the test of time mother and daughter hearts intertwined and this is for my daughter <clears throat> my daughter Christina she lost a baby last year um, they have been trying for a long time and um, I still give her a Mother's Day even if it's just a note of something. So even though the sentiment says it's from, basically it's from me, I'm also gonna write a little note as if her baby was uh, going to say something to her. So that card will go in there. I also put, I'm gonna put this in there. It's an Amazon gift card. I also put four Hershey's Nuggets in there. And then, so that's that one. And then the next one, oh, dropping things here. So 
So the next one um, is another Julie Nutting doll. <clears throat> I can't remember her name. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other one was, her name was Amberly, but I can't remember her name. And I put her away already as well. Again, I paper pieced her with the same six by six paper pad and added flowers, the enamel dots, same Happy Mother's Day sentiment. This stamp came with that doll. She has fire in her soul. And for me, this is perfect for her because um, I, I know I've said this before, but um, she has two special needs children. And then, but all together she has four children and the older two are the special needs. And just with all four, it, it's already, when you have kids, we all know how tiring it can be, but it's even more so for her and it's just a challenge. And she's been doing this for 15 years now. And she is the strongest woman I know. And she keeps, and I wanna cry because I'm so proud of my daughters and I know everybody's proud of their children but she just keeps going and going and going and <clears throat> she's just she's just something else and I'm very proud of her so anyway I stamped that and um, it has the same sentiment on the inside again I just cut out a tag from that paper collection she got is getting the same a little gift bag with an Amazon gift card <clears throat> and the last card I made is this one and this is this uh, from a Stampin Up stamp set <clears throat> which that other sentiment the Happy Mother's Day sentiment was from as you can see it's right there again so uh, I, st I just stamped the teapot and the teacup and the flowers and then I got my Vic what is it called? Victorian Velvet um, Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. And I just, that's how I colored it. I didn't really color it. I just kind of got my <clears throat> blending brush and just went all around and that was it. I added stickles to the flowers all around um, and that's it. Oh, and then I added some gems to, for, I guess, to kind of mimic the liquid, the tea coming out. And then I added, um, what do you call it? Liquid pearls, couldn't think of it for a second. So it looks really pretty in person because of the glitter and everything. And again, I use the same sentiment. Now for my mom, um, it's very hard to get her a gift right now because I don't know who knows and who doesn't, but I've been taking care of my mom on hospice for the last year she does not need any clothes um it just it makes no sense like she's been in bed for a year um i really don't want to get her gift cards because i end up buying her what you know what she wants as in like you know meals like you know if she wants something special whether it's olive garden El Pollo Loco, Jersey Mike's, whatever. I just go get it for her. So I don't, I don't really feel like a gift card is really a gift either. Um, she does have books and magazines that my sisters have gotten, you know, have bought her and sent her. Um, but other than that, so what I did is I ended up buying a small little cake from Stater Brothers. Um, they have these Mother's Day cakes that they're selling right now. I don't know how big they are. I think maybe like four inches in diameter, maybe five. And then they're like two layers. They're just really small cakes. And she likes cake. And I got her a pack of her, uh, what do you call it? Reese's peanut butter cups. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel kind of silly even giving that to her, but it's, but I want to give her something and there's really not much I can give her. So that's what I'm going to give my mom. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share the cards that I did. And I hope everybody has a enjoyable weekend and a happy Mother's Day. And, you know, cherish your mothers if they're here. And if they are not here, I know they are wishing you all a 
very happy Mother's Day, and they know that you are with them. All right, so we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.